Hey guys, my name is Robert Tugman, and this is my audition tape for Redken slash Ulta for a store 425 for a salon trainer, and this is my model Alexis. We're gonna be doing her hair today. All right, now we're back from getting her prepped from her um, great shampoo, and we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. In our uh, consultation, we, we established that we were gonna be removing some bulk and some length um, to sort of hollow out the haircut and, and then shorten up the length to establish a, a more appropriate length line for her. And let's see, it's this side, right? Yep. All right, so we're gonna section her out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on, on the flat plane of the head and establish a length line. We're gonna be doing soft interior movement throughout the haircut. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of razoring and then in the finish, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of dry cutting so that we get a nice soft shattered interior along with a soft shattered perimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna section out and then we'll get right back to you. I'm gonna start from her natural part and then we're gonna do a four way part from there. And I like to work in straight perimeters around the head. So we're just gonna draw a straight line the nape area, section away. We're gonna work in the flat plane or to the 45 degree mark of the head. 45 degree mark is at the found at the back corner of the head. This is 90, this would be 45. It connects to the side with the back, back with the side. Back corner here. Finish establishing our length line. Just work in little tiny C's. Take off that length. Again, working in radial partings around the head, seen from back view all the way around. Again, we're going to work on the back plane of the head, which is the back flat spot of the head. Dropping down our next section. You can see our guide from the last section. We're gonna come in here and just remove a little bit of this weight. Create a nice, soft, shattered perimeter line. The hair is too bulky. I work in pretty big sections because I'm really comfortable with this. If that hair gets too much and you can't see your line, you can just, like I said, move that hair, push that hair out of the way. Okay, we're gonna move in the plane. And I like to move the chair and I like to stand right in front of the section that I'm working on. And so, it took me a long time to figure out that these chairs actually move instead of me running around the customer the whole day. So I'm gonna make the chair do the work for me. There's my guide, my sections at the back 45 degree mark of the head. I'm going back to a deeper C, move the hair out of the way, finish establishing my length. Little shorter strokes. Just remember the hair is denser around the hairline. All right, we're gonna work around the head. Continue to work in circles. I'm gonna work in this front panel here. Elevation is key. If I wanted to lift it up, it's gonna be a softer edge. And I wanna keep it at a lower elevation. Keep it a little bit more solid. A lot of times I like to keep the length in the front. I can always take it off later. All right, we've established our length line. We're gonna work in the perimeter. work at the high point of the head to the ridge. The way that's found is when we take our, our shear or two combs and we meet, and this will be the ridge or the high point of the head. So also fall on the side, seen from front view, will be around here. So we're gonna work in this ridge all the way around, around here. And I'm gonna 
section that out of the way. So this is what we're going to be focusing on. And so we don't work with too much hair at once until you get real comfortable with this. We're just going to work in this particular section. So here's my hair here. Section that out of the way. And I want to see where I want my interior movement to start. Midway down. And we're going to establish our length. Come in and take long C shapings because I want a nice soft shattered interior. there. Okay. I'm going to work in straight lines <coughs> from the part seen from top view. Oh, there we go. And then what I like to do is my guide from the interior come in here and just remove the way shorter going to longer go. now I've completed my right side I'm going to be moving into my left side so I'm going to take a guide from my previous side and I like to work facing my section so I'm going to turn my model around Find where my guide is. There we go. Straight lines. And there's my guide. Shorter to longer. All right. Now we've completed the top. I'm going to section her in her natural fall position or her natural part and we're going to connect the dots so to say. Seen from back view I'm going to take my guide holding my elevation seen from side view at a 90 degrees and I'm going to scoop out the interior in this midsection. So Here's where my guide ends, and here's where I'll pick it up. You'll notice that I'm taking little sections, scoop it out, create a nice soft interior to match. Now we're pulling the hair out 90 degrees from which it grows. Seen from top view, it's pulled straight out from the head. All right, at this point, I have finished her haircut with an exception of the fringe. We're gonna blow dry her hair, and then I'm gonna do the finishing touches around the front of this haircut with a different tool to get, the, to get a really nice soft perimeter. So I'm gonna blow dry right now. All right, in my blow dry, this is usually when I talk to my customers about what kind of products they need to use in their hair and things of that nature, what kind of tools to use. With this particular haircut, it's so versatile because it releases so much curl for the interior if she wants to be lazy and have those nice lazy days and accentuate her natural curl. But on days when she wants to be professional, if she's going to work or whatever she's gonna do, go out for a nice dinner, she can blow dry out smooth and sleek. So this haircut's very versatile, but what's really important about the blow dry that I feel like is that you get to watch the hair and you get to see how the hair responds to the haircut that you've delivered so that I can do my finishing touch on it or that I can, so to say, maybe put the icing on the cake. So the hair is telling me where I need to work and I left the bangs or the fringe long so that I could go in there, see how it responded and then remove the weight that I wanted to remove. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm 
going to use a shear just for this particular job. Come in here and I really like where it's falling. And I'm going to shorten her up just a pinch right around her cheekbone. So we're going to come in here and just sort of back comb or just etch in a really nice soft perimeter line around the face. Gonna elevate the hair just a little bit so it creates a little bit of a softer fringe in this front. And it just really edges it off. Comes it down in its natural paw position. I'm just gonna talk the shear through. There we go, nice movement here. Work through the front here. Actually, let's see how I turn this so I don't block how I do this. I'm gonna lift the hair up. There's this nice cowlick there. And I'm gonna start this right around the tip of her nose. So I'm gonna lift it up and actually come in behind my hand and move the hair backwards so I'm over directing as I cut. It just leaves a really nice soft perimeter. draw a line right to the corner of the eyebrow, comb the hair in its natural fall position where it lives, and I can see where the weight needs to be taken out through the side. So we're going to come in here and just do so. Again, just talking the shear right through it. And when I say talking the shear, I'm just talking about moving it ever so slightly so the hair is actually in the shear and it closes halfway so it diffuses it as it moves down the hair shaft. Okay, I see that she's a little bit heavy right here. Again, looking at the hair, reading it, see that it's heavy right through here. So I'm gonna come in through here. And remember, I did short to long, so when the hair falls, it leaves it long here. I leave that longer so that I can take it off later as I see the hair dry so I can see how it responds. I'm gonna come in here and just pop the shear right through it. I'm gonna marry this little corner right through here. Check this side, and it looks pretty good, but just want to check this corner here. And lift it straight out from where it grows. And just take that corner off right there. All right, now I'm going to check everything in circles just to see if I have any corners. So we're going to work through here, come out. Very few scragglers, but I feel like this is the polishing, the icing on the cake. This is what sets you apart for most hairdressers. It's just coming back and just double checking any long hairs. We're not really cutting into the length line. We just want to make sure that we don't have any scragglers through there. Looking at the hair, watching it move. All right, here is my finished haircut. Hey guys, just to recap my haircut today, I established a length line, a nice soft interior movement with a razor, cutting the hair on its perimeter at a 90. Then we came in through the interior, taking it off at a 90, and then pulling it out at a 90 and removing the interior straight off. Created a nice soft perimeter around the, hair, uh, the, the face with a shear, just sort of talking the shear through the hair. And uh, I wanted to say thanks again for the opportunity to do this model for Redken and Alta. This is my model Alexis. Thanks. Thank you.